Well, not many people would admit to being racist these days, but that doesn't mean we don't have biases. Today, Tampa police commanders spent the day finding about, out about the prejudice that lies beneath the surface and what we should do about it. Shooter bias studies show time and again people of all races are slower to spot the gun in the hand of a white person or a woman and slower to realize there's no gun when the target is black. This audience of TPD commanders learned it's a reaction based on stereotypes we all carry around. That does not justify police applying the stereotype to every member of the group. USF criminology professor Lori Friedel giving the seminar in District 3 headquarters is an expert on fair and impartial policing. The police violence we see in the news from around the country and the world are all unique situations, but some are no doubt fueled by fear and suspicion born of prejudice. This seminar explains that even the most enlightened officers carry some biases. And you need to recognize that and ensure that biases don't affect the way that we police our community in a negative way. Chief Jane Castor says mindless profiling is dangerous to the public and to her officers. We're looking at an individual's hands. What is it that can hurt you? It certainly isn't the color of a person's skin. Dr. Fridell says contact with people of other races, economic status, and appearances reduces police bias, making engagement with the law-abiding core of the community essential. NAACP leader Carolyn Collins hopes this kind of training is used beyond the police force. It says policing. It should be fair and impartial. Uh, housing, fair and impartial. Education, fair and impartial. Employment, fair and impartial, whatever. So it is appropriate. A couple of interesting details to come out of this study. Fridell says that police officers exhibit less bias in those shooting simulations than the general public, maybe because of their training. And officers tend to become less biased the longer they are on the job.